So one of the questions that comes up a lot is, how do I start? So um, I thought I would go back all the way to the most basic, which is mixing paint. So I've got a little cup with a little stick. I've got some PM is short for pouring medium, which is whatever you use to thin down your paint, um, such as pouring medium or flow troll or glue or whatever you use. Different consistency for glue as for pouring medium, but I'll go into that in a little while. And some, I've got some distilled water here. So, first thing that I do is I put some pouring medium into my cup. The paint is thicker, um, so it's easier to mix if that goes in first. So I've got a nice bright colour. Now I do about half and half paint, so. Um, the line is about there, so I want to fill it to there with the paint. I don't believe in making an absolute exact science. Now the fun part, the mixing. Mix, mix, mix. And this is why we don't always show this bit, because it's boring. You just do it over and over again. Mix, 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 mix. Now the thing about your paint when you're up to this stage is it is too thick. It's not too far off, but it is definitely too thick. And this, based on my experience in the past, will definitely crack if I use it now. So what I do, after I've mixed and mixed and mixed and mixed and mixed, And I'll leave it there for now, is get some water. Now usually I just um, use the lid of my um, water, I wouldn't actually use a pipette, but um, just to give you a bit of an idea, rather than just dumping it in there, I thought I'd look a little bit more measured. But each paint, and each colour in each paint is slightly different, so if you start measuring it out, you're going to have 50,000 charts for every single paint and it also varies depending on the temperature. So you want a nice clear flow of paint and that is actually, well I thought I need to fiddle more but that is actually really nice. Just in case that wasn't enough, here I have cup number two. So about Half and half. Now I'm going for warm yellow this time. I love these squeeze bottles. I have bigger bottles and I just fill the squeeze bottles up. I use these for my pre mixed paints too, they're brilliant. Okay, now you'll never guess what we do now. Now I've found as a general rule with Global, which is my favourite. Um, at this point, <laughs> my, my favourite brand is the yellows and the oranges tend to be a bit thicker than the blues and the thinnest of all tends to be, oh the magenta is just so runny, you barely do anything to it. So you can see it runs off fairly okay but it's not like a steady stream. So I take my water. Now the reason why you add the water last is because you want the pouring medium that you're using to mix in with the paint. It's got all the binders. If you mix the water in first, it doesn't bind the paint together, it just waters it down so you're more likely to have pigment separating and um, can look a little chalky. And Some people do great work with just paint and water. Um, I prefer this. <laughs> I also want that assurance that this is going to last a really long time. So that's getting pretty close. It's better to add it bit by bit rather than a big heap of water all at once. Um, it's easy to stuff up how much water and if you put in too much water just add more paint so it'll thicken it up pretty fast. This is quite a thick paint, it's impasto paint. Um, but yeah, it's better to add little bits at a time, it mixes so much better, it's easier to judge. around. 
you get a feel for the paint as well. You can nearly feel how, <laughs> you can really feel it when you stir with your stick how it is. So oh that's nearly too runny. That's perfect. So then mix, 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 mix. Now I found my best results with paint that's sat for a while. The theory is that it, all of the bits and pieces mix together better while they're sitting. So I run on that theory too. I think I'll do one more colour. Now rather than pour this into another one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use what's left in my cup and do it that way. So I'm thinking what colour do I want? wild and good pink. Very gluggy this pink. You notice I'm not drawing lines on cups or anything like that. Um, a lot of it's by eye because it's just too different for each different paint. It's just not worth it. you scrape the sides down, make sure you get the middle of the cup. I like mixing in cups um, and the other way is I just stick it directly into the uh, pour bottle but it's a little harder to judge consistency in the bottle. You have to pour a little bit out and get a feel for it and that kind of thing. So it's a little easier doing it in a cup. That is definitely too thick. So I know this is going to need more water, so I'm just doing a little bit at a time. Probably getting a really good view of my hand. more globbing than it is flowing. Globbing is not arty. Globbing is cracky. We don't want cracky, so... This is why all the paint mixing is usually done before. Because it's really boring. You can have some aesthetic appreciation for the paint, but other than that, Definitely boring. Okay, it's still just a little bit too thick. It's very close though. You want a nice steady stream. I like to call it melted ice cream. You might I should be avoiding ice cream. <laughs> Some people call it pouring cream. Lots of dairy references actually now it occurs to me. That is so close, it's not funny. If you end up accidentally making a little runny, sometimes you can get some nice effects. But overall, what will happen is your cells will break down and your patterns will go a bit flat. Um, a lot of it will just look beautiful straight away and then you look the next day and go, oh, which is such a shame because they can look beautiful. That's better. Okay, so the next part is, after you've let it sit, adding oil. Now you can use silicon oil, you can use hair oil, you can use whatever you want. Okay, so this size cup, whether it's hair oil or silicon or whatever, you're only going to need a couple of drops. Too much and you're just going to end up with an oily mess. So it's going to go... This is just hair oil. I'm going for the simplest. If I do something a bit bigger, I'll use my own mix, but this is, this is just something small for practice. Now, if you want lots and lots of little um, cells, then you would mix it up like a mad thing. If you want bigger ones, you would just fold it in a little. 
like that. Or you don't have to put it in at all. Um, my premix stuff doesn't have any in, um, but right now all of these have it. So we'll let this sit for a while and work on it in a little bit.